Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name's Vanessa. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I put together the three cube organizer from the brand Room Essentials at Target, as well as how I decorated it. Feel free to stay tuned to see more. Alrighty, everybody, let's get started with the parts that are included. You should have two side panels, or for me, they're bottom and top panels, and they are labeled letter A. Then you'll have four fixed shelves that are labeled letter B. And then letter C is the two back panels. They're definitely not what I was expecting, but it does help hide the fact that I didn't correctly paint my bottom trim in my living room, so I'm okay with it, I guess. I kind of don't have an option to be. And then lastly, you'll be given a whole little baggie of all the tools or all the like hardware that's necessary to put this together. You are not given the tools, but the tools you should already have, which is just a hammer and a screwdriver. For the first step, you'll need the screws, a screwdriver, the side panel, and the shelving panels. Please ignore this stupid fly that is going to bother me the entire time I film. But for the first step, all I did was stick the screws into the side panel holes and match them up with the shelf panel holes and screw them together. The most important part about this step is to make sure that all the finished sides are facing out and all the particle board edges are facing in. What I mean by that is the particle board edges should be touching the side panels. They should not be facing out. All of the edges should match. You will continue this step until all the shelving panels and the last side panel have been put on. Now that the shelving unit is put together, you see that unesthetic silver screw? We're gonna cover it up with one of these bad boys. You're gonna take your screw cap and you're literally just going to push it on. Easy as that, and now we're done unless you don't want to be done. There are a couple extra steps that you can choose to do, meaning I chose not to do them, but I can walk you through what you can continue to do. So with the back panels, what you can do is you can nail them in like you're supposed to, or you can be like me and since it's sitting up against a wall, I'm just, I'm not gonna nail them in. I'm just gonna put them in between the shelving unit and the wall because nobody's gonna know, except for you guys who are watching this. However, if you are a rule follower, what you'll need is these little nails, a hammer, and the back panel labeled letter C. Now for this step, there's two different ways you could do it. If you want the mounting hardware to be hidden, what you're going to do is cut a one and one fourth inch by three fourth inch hole in the center back of the panel, as shown here. Once you've done that, or if you plan on skipping that step, then all you have to do is have all the unfinished edges facing up and literally just nail the back panel to the shelving unit. Moving on to step number four, which is to fasten the unit to your wall. I personally skipped this step and ironically, they're claiming this is a necessary step and that all units must be fastened to the wall. Reason number one as to why I'm not fastening it to the wall is because I have it laying on its side. The chances of it tipping over and causing serious injury is slim to none. And if for whatever reason it does tip over and hurt me, then I guess that's my fault, but the chances are very slim. Reason number two as to why I'm not fastening it to the wall is because even if I did have this shelving unit standing vertically and it did happen to tip over, it would rip out my entire wall panel. I don't have wall studs. So if it were to tip over, it would pull the whole wall out or at least part of the wall out. And then I would have a hole in my wall and I don't really want that. I don't have time or money for that actually. So I'm skipping this step. However, if you have small children or anything like that, I do recommend doing this step, but I personally don't and I personally am not doing this step. If you choose to do this step, all you have to do is align the center of the unit with the wall stud, place the short end of the L bracket against the wall and use a one and a half inch screw to secure the L bracket to the wall. Then once you've done that, use a half inch screw to secure the L bracket to the top panel. Moving on to step number five. I'm not stacking the shelving unit, so all I need are the two hole plugs. And like in the name, I'm literally going to plug the hole. Now, if I were stacking the shelving units, I would need the dowel, and then you literally just stick it in the hole and then attach the other shelving unit. Now that it's all complete, I am going to decorate it. This is personally my favorite part. 
Ironically, this wasn't even the shelving unit that I had wanted, but I have since fallen in love with it. And it actually fits in with my living room really, really well. When I had gone to Target, what I wanted was the white six cube storage unit, and somebody decided to put this espresso brown three cubed one in with the white ones, and because it was the easiest one to get out, it was the first one I grabbed. However, I didn't notice that it was the wrong one when I put it in my cart, when I scanned it, or when I put it in my cart. It wasn't until I got home and was taking it out of my car that I realized I had taken the wrong one home. And me being me, I was too lazy to drive back to the store and ex exchange it. The whole reason I even wanted a new shelving unit was to add extra space for all my plants. I never in a million years thought that I would want as many plants as I have now. I didn't even think I could keep this many alive all at the same time. And so I'm very quickly running out of space indoors and outdoors. So on top I have some of my plants and some decor. And then down below in the fabric cube organizer I have some of my plant necessities like my watering pitcher, the ice cream pails that I use for bottom watering, extra pots, fertilizers, stuff like that. Fingers crossed hopefully this helps me stay organized as Anybody who personally knows me knows that I tend to lose things very quickly, like the pump fertilizer, the watering pitcher, and actually saying all this is reminding me that I should put my moisture meter in here as well because I tend to lose that a lot too. The other reasons I got it was because when I moved in here, I had originally had a fish tank where the shelving unit is, but it ended up leaking water and my floor started to cave in, which is not good. You can even see here as I pan up that orange stuff on the wall is from the water leaking like consistently for like months and I had no idea. So I ended up moving my aquarium to the other end of the living room leaving this side very sad and empty looking. When I first bought my trailer this whole room actually the whole trailer was wood panels and so what I ended up doing was filling the cracks and painting over with white paint to make it look like it was not built in the 1960s. When I was working on the walls my mindset was that the aquarium would be covering up the wall so it didn't really matter how it looked because there would be something huge blocking it and that was all true until I had to move the aquarium to the other side which then exposed my horrible paint job and the brown carpet underneath my white rug. There's like a six inch strip between the wall and the rug that I really wanted to cover up because I hate the brown carpet in my living room. So the shelving unit perfectly covers up that little strip of carpet, but still allows the snake's head on the rug to be seen. So I'm like very happy with my purchase, 10 out of 10, highly recommend. Overall, it only took me about 10 minutes to put this shelving unit together. I was able to do it completely by myself and would definitely recommend to others to get this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my video. Sorry, it's kind of random and a lot of me talking. But if you did enjoy this video, please leave a thumbs up or even subscribe. It would be highly appreciated. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. See you next time.